would your comp for Paolo Boncaro be, be Carmelo Anthony? Is that what you're kind of intimating in a way? right now there's so many the, the thing about paulo is like he's so dynamic uh to put you know him in in line with just one player sure. it is to do because he has the passing ability of of a lebron the scoring ability of a mellow um you know the the basketball iq he has is just something incredible uh then the other side of it is just his poise and his demeanor in game uh for a 21 year old to have that is, is very rare and very special so He's got so many combinations that it's hard to just say he's like this one person. I think he's going to be his own when when it's all said and done. Like his his uniqueness is is special to what we what we're doing. So then, how does he download that information that you give him? Hey, I just saw this, or I saw that, or this uh, wrinkle. How does he assimilate what you're coaching him? Well, he and I have just can try to continue to do a great job of communicating. I, I lean into him and what he sees on the floor, uh, how he's getting guys involved, um, how he's looking at opportunities to score. Uh, and he sees the game. It slows down for him. Um, he's seeing different coverages and how guys are guarding him. And he's recognizing that from the beginning of the game to the end. And so he communicates it. You know, I, I constantly am calling him over throughout the game because, I, you know, you want to get these guys feel because they're feeling it. I can see certain things on the sideline, but for me, it's their ability to recognize it with one another and communicate that to each other. Jamal Mosley, the head coach of the Orlando Magic, five-game win streak and uh, the 11 games over 500 right now here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, I'm, I'm also biased, Jamal. Um, I'm a Wolverine, um, so... Uh, clearly, <laughs> oh, you, you're bad. <laughs> well, what does that mean, oh man? What does that mean? What does that it's mean? okay. We 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 constantly have them coming through our our program. Okay. It's it's a, we have Mo, we have Franz, we had Brazdikas, we yeah, have sure. Kate Houston. We just we'll keep the Wolverine coming through the pipeline. Well, Mo is one of my favorite players from the run, uh, the beeline run for sure. Uh, I absolutely adore him, and obviously Franz um as well um what's it like yet sure yeah well what's it like coaching the brother the brothers like what's it like it's coaching awesome. brothers it really is awesome i think that plays such a big part into the dynamic we have as a team uh we talk about being together and guys rooting and pulling for each other they're competitive they're energetic they care about the game they're smart um, and they really do just love the, the way in which this team plays but they also know it's about the guys around them um they're they're their energy is different, uh, but the way in which they think and process the game is very similar. And you also, it's like a United Nations on your your roster, which is kind of fitting, you you know, obviously with your international uh, history. Um, so how, how does the, the international game that you would obviously know so well um, translate to what you're attempting to do every single night and obviously quite successfully right now? Well, I think it's just being able to buy into the bigger picture, um, that it's something bigger than you and, and doing it as a team. Uh, I mean, you have Goga, you have Franz, you have Mo, you just have different guys from different areas, but every, and Joe Ingles and guys that have been part of different um, organizations, but it's about winning. Uh, it's about the bigger picture. And these guys can, they buy into that. They believe that, and they, they understand that the success of the, you know, the team um, will help out each individual. And that's what we're trying to do is help them reach their highest potential. Jamal Mosley here on the Rich Eisen Show. How do you keep it going? I know that's a very esoteric question. <laughs> but how? <laughs> I, 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 seriously, you know, I, and, and in a world where, um, you know, players are plugged into to what everyone else is talking about, I think more than ever, and you, you flip on any any screen talking about the NBA, certainly in your conference, uh, Celtics, Bucks hiring, you know, Doc, middle of the season. The Cavaliers are are taking off. The Knicks are feeling good. And then, you know, um, eventually they'll get get around to you, Jamal. So how do you yeah. how do you how do you keep that fire burning for your team? Well, this group has has been special from the summer and we've had discussions and conversations. And, and I think the best thing that happened to us was that early nine game run. Um, when we ran nine straight off, I thought that was a good thing because, you know, you're not going to win all of them. And so when we hit a patch of a couple losses, some injuries, you go back and, and you're not the main story. And so trying to help them understand that we have to do what we do um, and you can't control outside voices or sources. You just have to focus on your body of work every single day uh, through the highs and lows. Um, and so I think that's the, been the message that the people in, in our organization, in our locker room, 
those are the ones that are pouring into you the things that are going to help you be successful. And do then you, the other side is yeah. take it one game at a time. Do you play the nobody believes in this card? Do you do that? Uh, not as no, not as much. I, I really do believe it's just if you can just focus on what we do mm -hmm. um, and that will take care of itself, because there's so many things that you can't control uh, other than, you know, how hard you play each every, every single night and how you're pouring into each other on a regular basis. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.